My name is Jeff Terry. I'm a physics professor at the Illinois Institute of Technology. My research group focuses on materials used in electricity production. We have projects ongoing in the synthesis and characterization of solar cells to better determine their lifetimes in the field. Understanding radiation damage and structural materials used in nuclear reactors and in developing accident tolerant nuclear fuels. It is the latter project that is the subject of this video. By now, everyone has seen video of the reactors in Fukushima, Japan exploding. These explosions occurred because the zircaloy cladding that contains the uranium fuel reacted with steam at high temperatures. The hydrogen then exploded. Our research project involves studying silicon carbide as a possible replacement barrier for use in nuclear reactor fuels that do not react to produce hydrogen or melt under accident conditions. To understand the behavior of silicon carbide in nuclear reactors, we use theoretical modeling and fundamental surface science measurements of model compounds that are synthesized using pulse laser deposition in our laboratory at IIT. Here we have laser pulses hitting a target to the right creating a plume of material that deposits on the hot, glowing red substrate to the left. The pulse laser deposition system at IIT is unique because of its ability to heat substrates to temperatures in excess of 2000 degrees C. We know that we grow the silicon carbide in the polytype and specific surfaces that are of interest to theoretical modelers and that in the actual fuel samples by monitoring the growth using reflection high energy electron diffraction. The read patterns are observed on the green phosphor screen. We perform simple laboratory characterization of the samples after annealing to high temperatures to simulate accident conditions. At IIT we characterize the samples with x-ray diffraction, scanning probe microscopy, and x-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Once we have a baseline understanding of the materials, we take them to the Materials Research Collaborative Access Team, known as MRCAT, beamlines at the Advanced Photon Source for further characterization. MRCAT is operated by IIT for a consortium consisting of UOP, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, British Petroleum, Argonne National Laboratory, and the University of Notre Dame, University of Florida and Northwestern University have become smaller partners over time. Our beam lines are used to measure the physical structure of materials using X-ray diffraction, X-ray absorption spectroscopy, and X-ray tomography. The electronic structure of the samples are probed with X-ray Raman, X-ray fluorescence, near-edge X-ray absorption spectroscopy, and coming soon, hard X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Once the samples are locked in the x-ray beam, data collection involves a lot of boring waiting. But since synchrotron time is precious, we monitor data collection 24-7 to catch any problems as they arise. Once the experimental run ends, we analyze the data from the lab-grown model films and data collected from silicon carbide irradiated nuclear reactors. We look for similarities in the data and alert the theoretical modelers to the areas so they can improve their calculations of materials performance under accident conditions. We expect that this combined effort between IIT and Oak Ridge National Laboratory will lead to reactor fuels with low risk of damage if loss of coolant or station blackouts occur in the future. This is in addition to the work nuclear reactors do to prevent incidents from happening in the first place. Defense in depth, having multiple safety pathways, makes the nuclear industry one of the safest on Earth. Our research goes toward further improving safety margins in light water reactors. And with that, we're out of here.